wasn't necessarily termed as the starting quarterback as opposed to he is the starter for week one against Minnesota. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely get in and try and, and dissect words and try and figure it out. But honestly, you know, I think that this is going to be a situation of where, you know, the creating of the separation and now being named the starter, he's going to have, you know, he's going to have some latitude. I mean, in Ohio State certainly starts off with a couple of real games, the road game at, at Minnesota and then home against Oregon. The worst thing you can do for a young quarterback is have him looking over his shoulder series by series or even game by game. Now, if you go out and you're not careful with the ball and you put it on the deck a couple of times and throw a couple of picks or whatnot, yeah, you have to reevaluate at that point. Uh, Ryan Day did not announce who like a number two is, whether it's McCord or Jack Miller. And then we learned as well that um, Quinn Ewers has been slowed with a little bit of a injury uh you know we don't have a lot of details on that he was expected to you know, be back by the end of i think it was this week uh so since i don't think you have a clear delineation of okay this is your one this is your two this is your three uh stroud's gonna have some some latitude out there i mean they're just not gonna put him in a lot of bad situations i don't think we're gonna see a lot of stuff over the middle i think we're gonna see a lot of stuff outside the numbers it wouldn't surprise me to see a good amount of ground and pound against the gophers uh they were pretty bad against the run last year as i'm starting to do some numbers from last season for a piece that'll be coming up here on september 1st uh tail of the tape uh so they're gonna definitely try and bring their quarterback along uh, at a decent pace with that being said, I mean, you can't completely go out there and spoon feed them and just, uh, put them in a situation of where you're not having any risk situations, but they're not going to throw somebody in a bad spot. Yeah. And I, they like what he's been able to do in camp in terms of keeping the ball safe. Like Kevin knows when we've talked to everybody, there's been very little mention that of, of turnovers from the quarterbacks. So they're doing well there. Uh, his accuracy is, is, really been good they've been surprised by how able how um athletic he is and how how he's able to create uh, just be able to create plays and, and make the plays get out of trouble and, and things like that extend the plays and then completing the pass once he gets out of trouble and you know he was the backup last year and so this is what everybody's been expecting and i i do wonder how much it, it, leash you give the guy in terms of if if he struggles against Minnesota, throws a couple of interceptions in the first quarter or something like you can't, it, it's a, it's a tricky situation with a new starter to, and a young guy to pull him and then put somebody else in. And then you start getting some musical chairs in there. And now you've got everybody thinking. So I, I do expect a, maybe a little bit of a conservative approach and run the ball. And you've got the running backs to do that. You've got the offensive line to do that. But eventually throughout the season, I think you're going to see the offense really open up with them because you have the receivers to do that with and you have the quarterback that you believe you can do that with. Ryan Day was pretty pretty happy talking about what they can do with C.J. Stroud. So, you know, first game on the road, maybe he throws for 180 yards. Next week, uh, the week following at home against Oregon, maybe it's, you know, twice that. I think Stroud is going to be given some latitude here, and I think you have to be able to give the guy some latitude to sink or swim. I mean, and I think he's going to swim, to be honest with you. I just think that the guys around him are so good that they're going to lift him up, and I think it's going to succeed, and I think it's going to work out regardless of what Minnesota might be able to do against them and then Oregon. I mean, these are two tough games right off the jump for him, and uh, against uh, two quality opponents, you'd really rather ease a young guy into it. But I, I do believe he's going to have some rope to work with, and they're not going to have him looking over his shoulder. And I think he's the clear number one. I don't think anybody else is really on his level right now. And I think um, those guys, you know, are working hard, but they're all young guys. And so um, I don't think it's an indictment of anybody or their development or where they're at or how good they're going to be or how good they are. I just think that's where they are right now. So I think it's his job and he's going to go out and they're going to do whatever, uh, however he plays, that's how it's going to go.